never really played with this before. All right, um, so this is the process for converting the data from the big commerce export. Um, so uh, we'd be in the Beverly Hills Lighting site. We would go to products and do an export and we select a bulk edit export. Uh, this usually takes about 10 or 11 minutes to run. Um, the only option that we can do is export as a CSV because we don't have anything to uh, convert an XML file. You'd click continue, wait 10, 15 minutes, and then download the result to your PC. The PC uh, file that you're getting will be a CSV file. Typically, the default name is uh, products and the date uh, stamp on it, uh, like that. Uh, if you open up the file uh, in Notepad, you'll see the formatting that it has natively, which obviously is not Excel. It's comma separated value, separating the columns as such. All right. If you open up, as you can see, it looks like uh, if you don't have the uh, uh, view on your PC to see the extensions, uh, you'd just see the Excel icon and make the mistake that it's an Excel file. It's not. Um, you should... Uh, always on your PC, have the view change so you can see the extensions. You can recognize immediately, oh, that's not an S XLSX file. That's a CSV file. Even though it's got an Excel icon on it, it's not actually an Excel file. It's just telling you Excel can be used to open the file. Um, to change your view to see file extensions, you go to view options and change folder and search options. And you change the view here and you un you you toggle this um, to uh, show hidden files and folders and to display the um, extensions, uh, which are on here somewhere. Okay. Um, to import this thing correctly, because if you just double click on it, it will open an Excel, but it will scramble the UPC codes and that makes matching really, really difficult to do. So uh, you go to blah, 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 go to Excel, wherever the fuck Excel is on my machine. That's funny. I had, I had a shortcut for Excel. Now it's gone. All right. Uh, okay. You go to Excel, you open a blank workbook. From there, you go data, import from text CSV file and select the file that you downloaded. And my computer's going to decide to be pissy and freeze up. Okay, so I save that file and imports working. There is the file. We select import. All right. Now this will bring up the Excel data translator and confirmer, uh, converter. Um, and from here, we would select transform data. Then we would go to the column where the UPC codes are at um, on the sheet. In this case, product UPC EAN. We highlight that column. We go here and we change the data type from whole number to text. When you see that, the scientific notation will disappear and the zeros on the front of UPC codes will miraculously show up. Yes, you replace the current one. And there, okay, now, now the data has been translated properly so you can get it cleanly into Excel. So at this point, you do a close and load. The translator will go behind the scenes here and convert the data properly. Okay, and there it's, yay, yay, got it. Okay, then we can clear, clear this queries connection. And for some strange reason, when you run the translator, it always does these filters, which is not really a big deal, but it will slow down the spreadsheet when you're working on it. And it does make the file larger than it necessarily needs to be. Uh, there's probably a better way of clearing that. I haven't found it yet. So you highlight the whole thing, you copy it, you go to sheet one, you do right click and do a paste options and you do paste values. All right, 
This clears all the formatting and just gives you the raw data. But now while, while it's highlighted there, do a format and auto fit column width. So it'll span out so you can see the, the data a little bit more cleanly. Then we go here, we make it bold and we go to view and do a freeze top row. All right. Then go ahead and change this tab, rename it to source or might want to call it BC source since it's from big commerce. Okay, we got that changed. Now we can go ahead and delete that tab that will make the spreadsheet smaller and uh, make it open faster and uh, work faster when we're working with it. So we delete that tab. So we just have our BC source unconverted. Now at this point, it's still not an Excel file. So you got to do a file and uh, save as. And this is uh, uh, BC products. Uh, usually I do 2023, 11, and 17. And this is version A, because we'll be modifying this a lot. OK. And at that point, everything is converted, and the UPCs are correct. And uh, we can just archive this or delete it. We're not going to use it anymore. Um, and the new file that we're working with should be, where the hell is it? I probably, probably put it in the wrong place. <laughs> OK, where the hell did it get saved to? Save a copy. Yeah, OneDrive likes to punk you and stick it wherever the fuck it thinks that, uh, that it needs to be. So it stuck it under, stuck it under the root of Five Star Wholesale Electric, didn't it? There it is. Well, that was worthless. Always be aware of where, where your computer is trying to store the damn thing because invariably it puts it in the wrong place. Oh, and of course it doesn't want me to move it because it's open. Okay. Try again. Okay, from big commerce. Now we imports working. There, now the damn thing is where it should be. All right, so that completes the translation process for big commerce bulk export. And let's see if I can stop the recording. Okay.